It's the Alberta Comedy Spectacular. Tonight, Turtle Island 2. Ryan McMahon. This exciting new comic hails from Manitoba. I ask for your patience now because I want to make sure that I pronounce his Aboriginal name correctly. So please welcome Ryan McMahon. Bonjour. Anin, yeah, come on, ça va, same thing, right, all right. <laughs> you guys look good, you made it, huh? Big night, Turtle Island 2, 25 bucks a ticket, ooh, that's hard on us, eh? <laughs> Thank God for a uh, good old money mark, though, eh? Pay the advance, yes, <laughs> sign it. <laughs> remember we used to have banks, you know, remember those said banks? Now you can just walk into a place and promise to eventually pay off a loan? Well, I got a thing coming up next week. Uh, I'll be, I'll be back. I'll be. You know you're broke when your grandma won't even give you a loan, eh? <laughs> Alas, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, and you guys look good too, dressed up tonight, eh? You guys, round of applause for yourselves. Looking just sharp. Everyone's dressed up wearing your town clothes tonight, eh? Oh! <laughs> Just got my town clothes. This one here, she went to Reitman's before she came. Oh! <laughs> Gonna be at the bar tonight just dancing, spilling. <laughs> That's how Indian women dance, too, this way. <laughs> just spilling beer on herself. I only paid six bucks for this shirt. I don't even care. wearing your town clothes. And for those that don't know what town clothes are, they're the clothes you can only wear twice a year. Weddings in court. You know? Thank God for Walmart, we can all afford to look good, though, eh? <laughs> Back in the day without Walmart, what would you do? If your town clothes were wrecked and you had an appointment in the morning, you'd have to borrow your cousin's town clothes. But you're a witness and you're going to see him to court, so... You can't borrow his, you end up in your mom's town shirt. <laughs> Trying to convince all the kids at school that pink roses are in style. <laughs> we love Walmart. Indian country, we love Walmart. We just, we just, we love it. If they'd install smudge bowls in the aisles, we'd move in. <laughs> Miigwech, miigwech. Just real sacred CD shopping, eh? <laughs> Just sacred up in there. You know why we love our Walmart? We can drop our kids off in the toy aisle and go to bingo. That's why. That's why we love it. Oh, we love it. <laughs> Some of you shaking your head. I saw it today. You go to any Walmart across Canada, you'll see it. Little Indian kids in the toy aisle. I saw six of them in there today playing football. Just having a game and they're one, you know, the little dirty Indian kid? with the snot on his face over here and here and here. He's in the corner. Can you put batteries in my remote control car? Just opening things like it's Christmas over there. But the white woman that was working there was getting real mad at those kids. Eh? I came around the corner. She said, you little Indians, you get out of here. And I said, don't get mad at them. You get mad at the parents. They were dropped off here. She felt bad, walked away. I grabbed my nephews, got the hell out of there as quick as I could. <laughs> Uncle doesn't have money to pay for that. Let's go. <laughs> and let's get this out of the way. I know I don't look like I'm an Indian, okay? I know. Don't come up after. I couldn't even tell. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm not going to get cast in Dancing with Wolves, the musical. I know. Me in a loincloth is like the Pillsbury Doughboy got caught in some duct tape. He's
more like dances with cheeseburgers, you know. <laughs> and they get mad at me. They get mad. They want to fight me. They want to fight me because of the way I look with my, my fair skin. If you want to fight anyone, fight my mom. All right? She's the one that slept with a white guy that couldn't afford a condom. All right? And if you want to fight her, I'm warning you right now, she's a tough, tough Indian woman from the bush. She used to skin beaver with her teeth. You will lose. <laughs> and they say I'm lucky. Oh, you're lucky that, that fair skin, you've never experienced racism, you're so lucky. To that I just say, uh-uh. It's not fun for me at the powwow, okay. <laughs> In my regalia, you know. At my drum, all weekend people walking by kicking my chair. Damn hippies. Confusing, man. You look around and everyone at my dinner table is brown and I'm just a gross shade of pink. Hot dog pink. Just real sad kid always crying. <laughs> Why are you crying? I don't even know. <laughs> but here's what I thought in my mind. That I was born to a nice set of hippie parents that loved to powwow. They were out at the powwow, but they made someone mad, so they had to get out of there real quick. But they forgot me. Come the end of the powwow, Sunday night, they're doing a giveaway. I'm on the giveaway blanket. People dancing by the giveaway. We're giving away babies here, man. Holy. Actually, pick that baby up, they'll get a check for 50 a month. Holy. I discovered my Indian pride in Toronto. I went to my first protest, you know, my real Indian protest, you know, because that's, we, we like to protest, eh? Oh, some, oh, we just, what are we protesting? I don't know, grab a sign, shit, there's a free barbecue after, yeah. <laughs> I am mad. <laughs> But we were there, we were at Queen's Park, at the legislative buildings of Ontario. Just 600 brown faces there, you know. And we're, we're just, I can't remember what we were mad about, but oh! <laughs> but we're protesting and, and they're screaming, eh? It starts quietly, screw the white man! And I hear it, and Indian pride starts welling up in me, yeah. Screw the white man, it starts getting louder starts getting louder. So I start whispering, screw the white man. Screw the white man. Screw the white man. But it's getting louder, and I'm getting this pride first time I ever felt it, and it's just going, screw the white man, and now I'm going, screw the white man, screw the white man, screw the white man. Why aren't you guys chanting anymore? Let's do this! <laughs> Screw the white man! Do it! 600 brown faces thinking I'm propositioning sex. <laughs> Screw the white man! <laughs> Screw the white man! Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen! Peace!